Hello guys, uh, today we're stepping into a whimsical world where princesses snore like lumberjacks. P tests, not what you think, P-E-A, the vegetable. P tests are taken to comical extremes, and a lovelorn jester must prove his worth with wit and song. Join us as we venture into Once Upon a Mattress. Once Upon a Mattress is a musical comedy with music by Mary Rogers uh, and a book and lyrics by Marshall Bearer. Jay Thompson, and Dean Fuller. Uh, the play was written as a humorous adaptation of the 1835 Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale, The Princess and the Pea. The production would open in May of 1959 at Off-Broadway's Phoenix Theatre uh, before transferring to the Albin Theatre, which today is now the Neil Simon Theatre, and then to several other Broadway theatres, finally ending at the St. James Theatre for a total run of 470 performances. Uh, the production would mark the Broadway debut of comedian Carol Burnett, uh, as well as featuring Joseph Bova, NBC's W.D. Clay McCord, Alan Case, 1973's Save the Tiger actor Jack Guilford, American jazz and ballet dancer Matt Maddox, and 1966's uh, Love Labor's Lost Actress Jane White. In August of 1960, soon after the closing of the Broadway run, rehearsals were called for a seven-month U.S. tour, which would move from city to city by train, truck, and bus. Uh, it starred Dottie Goodman, uh, comedic address, actress Imogene Coca, 1970s Sanford and Sons actress Fritzi Burr, and silent film actor and filmmaker Buster Keaton. In September of 1960, a London production of the musical would open at the Adelphi Theatre, running for 24 performances and starring Jane Connell, Robin Hunter, 1982's mass appeal actor Milo O'Shea, Bill Kerr, and Max Wall. Now, CBS would air the first television adaptation on June 3, 1964, which was videotaped in front of a live audience and featured Burnett, Bova, Guilford, and White from the original Broadway cast, as well as new principals Bill Hayes, who would hit the top of the Billboard charts in 1955 with his song The Ballad of Davy Crockett, Shawnee Wallace, and Eddie, and Elliot Gold. Now, from the success of the first television adaptation, CBS would host a second on December 12th of 1972, which included original Broadway cast members, Burnett, Guilford, and White, and also featured Bernadette Peters, Ken Berry, Ron Hussman, and Mrs. Pepper's actor, Wally Cox. Now, Broadway saw its first revival in December of 1966 at the Broadway Theater, running for 188 performances and starring Sex and the City actress Sarah Jessica Parker, David Baker, Louis Cleal, Canadian actor Heath Lamberts, Tom Robbins, David Hibbard, and She Loves Me star Ilona Jane Krakowski. In December of 2005, a third television adaptation would be broadcast, this time by ABC, as part of The Wonderful World of Disney, starring Carol Burnett, HBO's True Blood actor Dennis O'Hare, uh, the Smothers Brothers singer Tom Smothers, Tracy Ullman, and Fox's Glee star Matthew Morrison. Once Upon a Mattress uh, continues to offer a timeless message of self-acceptance, individuality, and the joy of a good laugh. It's a musical that reminds us that even the most ridiculous traditions can be challenged, that happily ever after comes in all shapes and sizes, and that sometimes the most unlikely heroes can write their own fairy tales. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you enjoyed this, please comment on what you liked or disliked. I'd love to hear from you. And if you want to see other videos like this, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, that's a wrap.